Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Snow with tonight's Deep Dive. It is August 2nd, 2018, and I'm going to take a look at HOGS, uh, the ETF being H-O-G-S. Not the easiest thing to get in, but nonetheless, uh, I'm going to be talking about this market. I'm going to do this because it's important that my viewers understand that there's a, a wide variety of markets that you want to look at, and I want to show you some of the tools we have on our website so that you can really appreciate why you actually might want to take a look at hogs. Not the most liquid market, not like the S&P or crude or gold or, or uh, the 10 year notes, but it is still a market that you might want to consider. So bear with me. This is going to be, I think, a little more interesting. So what we have here is the trends are all pointing to the downside. We have the Tettinger rating pointing to the downside. Anybody that's been trading this market knows that. And the seasonals are pointing to the downside. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time between the seasonal tendencies, just going into a little more depth here, and then a little bit of correlation stuff. I know boring, but I want you to understand some of the tools we have on our website. And hogs are a great market to uh, to understand. So this is where we stand with the, the downside to the market. Uh, bottom line is that it was a big down day in the market, and we're short this market. So so let's first take a look at the, the seasonal tendencies to the market and uh, realize that uh, uh, a couple things here. One, actually I'm going to do it this way. We're going to look at the, the seasonal top 10 first and realize that hogs are at the top of the list here. Highly accurate in following its normal tendencies, which is always good. This is a great way to begin the, the seasonal trading process, what markets are actually following their seasonal tendencies. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the, the accuracy of hogs against uh, uh, either A, what they're doing now with their trading uh, against uh, different time frames. So here's the five year and you can see that there's a little more downside. There's been a nice little trend to the downside as you'll see here in a second but there's a little more downside bounce and then a little more of a sell-off. So there's opportunity here. Let's take a look at the 10 year. Again kind of the same tendencies. It's still down, a little pop and then another little bit of a sell-off. 15 years, same condition. So there's still opportunity even though the market has had a sell-off. Let's just take a look at uh, hogs to, to sort of get a feel for what's taking place here. Here's the trend to the downside. Is it due for a bounce? Yes, of course it is. But is there going to be a secondary sell-off? Well, that's what the seasonal tendencies are telling us. And because they're highly accurate right now, bye, bye, something you might want to consider. So here is the trend to the downside. And if we take a look at back to the website and we look at our open position profit, you can see that hogs down here at the bottom are doing very, very well. It's the, one of the biggest winners that we have right now since we've unwound a lot of positions and the greens just recently. But hogs are still doing quite well for us. And if we take a look at the, the market as a whole, uh, just on a per contract basis, not taking into account any leverage, anything of that nature, uh, we recently had a short. Well, it's unwinding a little bit of a position position, but uh, now we're a little bit hedged where we have a short, a short, and a long. Uh, and we've got a nice open position profit here where we're starting to hedge ourselves as we're coming into that little sell-off and then uh, that little bounce that I was referring to on the seasonal tendencies. So there's going to be a good trade that's going to be coming up here once we get into that next seasonal uh, process. And that seasonal process is going to be here uh, in the beginning of September. There's still money to be made here. It's going to jump around a little bit, but the next uh, little sell-off should occur in early September to the downside. And I'm just prefacing all this so you can see well in advance how to play out and how to uh, put together your, your trading plan. The other thing I want to point out when it comes to the seasonal tendencies, accuracy is good. But here is something that is uh, in addition to what I would normally do. Uh, here is the, the seasonal aggregate, and this is a uh, seasonal depth where we take a look at the 5, the 10, 15, and 20 years all together. And what we're trying to look at is does a market 
not necessarily follow its normal suit, which I've just pointed out with the accuracy, but does it have a similar profile for the 5, the 10, the 15, and 20 year? The closer that profile, does it follow the normal same ebbs and flow year in and year out for all of these different time frames? If the answer is yes, then it's going to be at the top of this list. If it's at the bottom of the list, then no, it's not following it as accurately. But hogs, lo and behold, is at the top of the list. So is the S&P and so is RBOB gasoline. But uh, hogs actually is a really good market because it's consistent. Therefore, this is a market that you're going to want to watch a little more closely than you uh, traditionally would. The other thing I'm going to point out, and this is a uh, kind of off the beaten path here, but uh, when it comes to correlation, let's assume that you're an S&P trader or you're any other trader, but you're trading something other than hogs. The great thing about hogs, and I'll show how you can get to this information, uh, you come down to charts, you come down to correlation, and you can look at either the weekly or the monthlies for this information. We're looking at stability, and what we're looking at is hogs, the market, against all of the other markets we track. So there's another, well, there's 40 markets total, so it's going against 39 other markets. And what's important here is that the volatility of the correlation is low. This is key, that if you have a market that has low volatility, or high stability, if you will, and it has a, a near zero correlation with a wide variety of markets, well then that's a market that you probably want to incorporate into your portfolio because it it moves to its own drumbeat. It's not going to be pushed and pulled by other markets. It's going to do its own thing, which is part of where correlation comes from. Now this is the market, not the trading of the market, but you always want to at least look at a market that has a low or near zero correlation and has a low volatility rating against majority of the other markets that are actually out there. So we have a tool for that. Here's correlation volatility. And uh, if you come down to charts, you come down to correlation study, correlation volatility, here is this video chart. This is on weekly. We can do it on, on uh, monthly as well. There's two different ones. So on a monthly basis, if we look at the correlation of lean hogs against all the other markets, everything else that's on this list, it has a low volatility rating, meaning a high stability rating, meaning that it has a near zero correlation and that stability in around that near zero correlation is very stable. Here's the monthly correlation and if we use it on uh, a weekly correlation, it's still towards the top end here. It's number three. So there's a number of reasons why you might want to consider uh, trading hogs in your particular portfolio. It may not necessarily be the most elegant market, but if we're looking to be able to have seasonal stability, a roadmap that you can look at on a regular basis, realize that it's accurately following its normal tendencies and that those tendencies across all those time frames is uh, quite high, meaning the 5, the 10, the 15, and 20 year, that there's stability in around the ebb and flow for that particular market is high. And when we look at the volatility of hogs against all of the other markets, the stability is, is very stable. It is near zero correlation. It should be a market that you incorporate into your trading. Again, it's not the most liquid markets. There are worse markets, lumber as an example. Uh, but in this particular case, if you have a budding portfolio or you want to incorporate something new into your portfolio, hogs uh, would be a good market to look at. I was looking at, this is cattle, but you know, hogs is right here, actually, I just noticed that. Uh, but, you know, here's hogs and cattle on the, the monthly basis. So, bottom line is that there are a lot of tools that are available up on our website for the stability of our seasonal tendencies, the stability for the volatility. Uh, I would encourage you to either contact me or attend some of our webinars where you can actually ask questions. Uh, I do a lot of webinars, and sometimes people are afraid to ask questions and so I go off on different tangents and answer uh, you know questions for certain individuals and go into a lot of detail but if any of this is uh, not making sense or you want greater detail I encourage you to come to our uh, some of our workshops and our webinars and ask those types of questions but bottom line right now 
uh, for our purposes. We're still short. Obviously, uh, we're hedged a little bit right now because we have two shorts, one long, and we just unwound one of the short positions. And we have on a unit basis between all of these different contracts, we have a really nice open position profit uh, going here. So it is a very, very good market to, to want to trade, and I encourage you to take a look at it. So with that, at least I've introduced a new market and introduced uh, hopefully some additional information that will give you a feel for some of the analytics that we have out of our, uh, up on our site. So with that, uh, we'll take a look at some more markets in the coming days, and we will go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.